Hi there, once again welcome back to my YouTube channel. Consider subscribing and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to zoom in on part of your screen and also how to use annotation for your presentation. This will help anyone who wants to know how to use annotation in presentation. So I'm going to walk you through step by step how you can use arrows and symbols to do annotations for your presentation. So without much ado, let's jump right into action. So this, I'm using the software called Zoom It and I've installed this software and mostly if you install it, it's going to show at the bottom right corner. So you can see the name of the software, the Zoom It. So I'll show you the website and I'll leave the link at the description. I'll also leave the link at the description of this video in order for you to download and the documentation will show you how you can use this for free so if there's something you like just let me know at the comment section if you have another alternative you can also let me know so let's jump right into action and see how to use this so this is my screen and assuming i want to do some presentation and i want to demonstrate part of this screen to somebody i want to point out certain things on my screen i can easily use this software to do that so once this is in, so once this is installed just go and click on it and you can see we have option where we can zoom in on part of the screen so if you want to zoom in on part of the screen i'll just click on zoom and you can see i can move my screen around and then zoom in on part of my screen so this is basically going to help you with the presentation if you want to pause on part of the screen that you zoom in you can just click and then you can hold on on that so you can see i have an arrow pointing and i can zoom in on part of my screen so for instance if i want to draw something there are certain when i press shift i should be able to draw a straight line if I press Ctrl, Ctrl plus Shift, I can draw an arrow. If I press Tap on my keyboard, I can draw a circle or whatever circular shape I want to. And if I press on Ctrl, I can draw any rectangular shape. So this annotation will help you to be able to figure out or point out part of your screen. It's going to help you with your presentation. Like I said, I'll leave the link at the description of this video so you'll be able to download this and it will guide you to be able to do effective presentation you can point out part of your screen to your audience and that will make your life very easy so if you want to do away with it just press the escape key on your keyboard and anytime you open this application it should be over here and then when you click on it you can specify which of them you want to use if you don't want to use the zoom and then just want to draw just click on the draw and then you should have the pointer so if you want to draw a straight line i can press shift on my keyboard and draw a straight line if I hold down Ctrl Shift, I can draw an arrow. So I can point, I want to point out to something, I can hold down Ctrl Shift and I'll draw an arrow. If I want to draw a rectangle, I can hold down Ctrl my keyboard to draw a rectangle. So this will help me to create annotation and point out to part of my screen. I can also hold down the tab key to draw a a cycle or whatever thing relating to cycle I want to draw. So I'm going to leave the link at the description of this video. Like, subscribe to my channel for more tips and tricks. So this is going to help you in that PowerPoint presentation. And you want to point out certain things, you can easily use this. It's a free software and it's direct from Microsoft website. And I'll show you how to use this and how you can download it. So leave it and then follow the documentation. So if you want to know how to use this, press the escape key to do our it. So if you want to know how to use this, when you follow the link i'm going to leave at the description just follow download this and then install once you are done installing just follow this documentation if you want to know more tricks as to how you can use this just follow this documentation if i'm using red at the moment if you want to change the color of the highlighting you can see we have r for red if you want to use green highlighting you can press the letter g if you want to use blue you can press the letter b so i'm pressing draw a straight line you hold and shift Hold and shift to draw a straight line. If you want to draw a rectangle, you hold down control. If you want to draw an ellipse or a circle, you can hold on the tab. You can draw an arrow by holding on control plus shift. You can erase last drawing by pressing control plus Z. Erase all drawing by pressing E. So there are several things we can do over here. So just follow this documentation. These are the shortcut keys that will help you to be able to go around it. So, like I said, I'm gonna leave the link at the description the file is also here for you to download and use for free so you can see this is exactly microsoft website so it's not any third party application 
download it and use it on your windows pc and it's going to help you with your presentation and annotation remember to like subscribe for more videos like this on my youtube channel so this is actually the latest version so july 29 2022 so i'm going to leave the link like i said download and then use and it's going to guide you a lot so assuming i want to use the annotation over here i just have to go click and then i'll click on drawing and if i want to zoom in, you can see you can also use your mouse to draw that to zoom in and then zoom out okay so if you want to get rid of that just press the skip key so let's just go ahead and then try something again click on the drawing so these are the shortcut keys over here that you can use if I want to draw a straight line, just hold downwards the shift and then to draw that control plus shift will draw an arrow for me. If I hold on the tab and I click on this, I can draw an ellipse too. And pressing just control is going to draw what a rectangle for you. Thank you so much for watching this short tutorial. I'm leaving the link at the description of this video. Just follow the link and then also click on the documentation and see how to go about this it's going to help you a lot with your presentation till i come away again bye bye